looks like the young western green mamba has done nearly a perfect, perfect shed. It doesn't seem to be anywhere just in sight, at least at the moment. First step is to retrieve the heading without destroying it. Which sometimes is not possible, depending on how well it was glued to the surface that it's stuck on. You know, lost a little bit there. Not much. Yeah, broken half. Well, that's the way the shedding crumbles. At least the uh, front part is in relatively good shape. And, oh yeah, we want to get it to focus there. Thank you. You can see two nice eye caps were left intact, uh, which is certainly one of the important things because it's always very nice when they shed the eye caps and are happy and can feed and care because it's in there but uh, it has been uh, relatively laid back so remove the eye bring the little beastie out to say hello. I just ate a day or so ago and hopefully it will be relatively calm and collected and we'll get to visit with it and it's it's young life. Hi. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have fun on the hook. Well, we haven't done Mamba on a stick in a long time. Uh, uh, why not now? Okay. I see no sort of threat posture. I see a little bit of curious tongue flick there. But I do think it's time for my hand to get out of dodge, so to speak. Let the little beastie uh, crawl up and continue its uh, its current path. As long as it remains calm and doesn't uh, go off into a, uh, a rocket ship sort of speed of light Star Trek sort of mode, we'll just let him or her hang out. And green, western greens are, are completely arboreal, so they really like to go up. And you see that that's the general direction this little cutie is uh, going in. And I see a tiny bit of flattening in the neck, but it was just having a look, a little bit of concern. very nice thank you for uh, whoa hold on to your little body there it's very nice of you to go the other direction again she's been uh, he or she has been dining on on pinky uh, large pinky mice uh, quite nicely you can see that bulge uh, right here in her her belly or his belly um, it seems to uh, to do two or three of those at every uh, every feed, and which is usually uh, a minimum twice a week, uh, but generally speaking, uh, three times a week. 
I am waiting uh, for someone to accept delivery of a couple of snakes that are housed in one of the arboreal cages here. Uh, the young wagglers is, uh, is going away, but uh, the problem is uh, he thinks the uh, payments for uh, the snakes that he purchased is like a 30-year mortgage and this has been an ongoing issue uh, for quite some time. Oh, he's coming up to have a look. Now yes my hand is in within the, the kill zone so to speak uh, uh, quite uh, readily but I see no change in posture of this little beauty and as long as I don't freak it out and startle it uh, everything should be okay you know mambas are perfectly fine as long as you don't push their buttons and certainly this young lady and yes I'm pretty certain it's a lady Uh, is uh, is pretty relaxed um, probably when she gets to about the three or four foot length though uh, teenagerdom will uh, fall into place and it will no longer be an easy animal to, uh, to hold uh, like this uh, so you gotta sort of get going and and establish a, a relationship before they get big and maybe they'll uh, maintain uh, a bit of their calmness uh, when they get bigger. Um, I mentioned at the start it was always nice to have a complete shedding because one thing for certain the animals don't like to be restrained in any way shape or form and it really freaks them out so anytime that you have to pin it down and or tube it and pull off a shedding or do something to it uh, it will instantaneously get hyper and mambas do have a, a very long uh, memory and can remember things uh, at least the polylepis can for three or four years they can remember an unpleasant event uh, you know subsequently uh, I don't really try now the reason why I'm doing this folks is because I want the camera to focus on my hand and then I'll exchange the mamba in its place there you go okay you saw that little little twitch and I sort of have to get my fingers out of the way there she was getting relatively uh, close Now, compared to a twig, uh, this graphite hook is uh, is very slick, so she really has to take some care uh, in order not to uh, go falling off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my fingers are really close there. There you go. All right, I relinquished the end of the hook. focus close up without her getting on the camera as far as the camera is concerned this is such a little target it goes for the rather big uh, uh, focus item like like my hand Oy. okay let's get it out of there I 
Hi, would you like a drink? Huh? Would you like a drink? She's not the uh, not the best uh, drinker yet. Yes, no, maybe, huh? What a cutie. I'd really like to take some, uh, some still photos. But will you, um, will you cooperate for those? Because right now you're just, just perfectly relaxed. So I'm going to try to sneak over. We got some water here. Would you like some more? Would you like some more? Huh? Oh, that's sweet. Unfortunately, the remote control for the camera is quite a ways away. Let's see if I can get it without disturbing this mamba. I'm zoom this in a little bit. Shed the shedding process uses and consumes quite a bit of water for these guys uh, in the whole process so I like to try to get them a nice drink right after they shed to replace those fluids that were required uh, in the shedding process. Come on. Oh, you are a doll. I just hope you remain this way. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to have some bigger quarters for you here shortly. I am just getting ready to move the adult parvioculas into a Vision 400 cage, which is the size that Gabby is in. Uh, simply because uh, if I'm going to put two parviocula in there, I think it's absolutely essential uh, to get them to breed that way. You can't uh, have more babies if you can't uh, keep them together. So. I'm going to move them in at least temporarily for the next month or two in hopes that they uh, hook up and uh, that will free up the male's big arboreal cage which will be a temporary home for uh, this little mamba. Is that rolling, huh? Is that making you a little nervous? Hmm? A large western green mamba is truly a, uh, a tough customer. Very flighty, lightning fast, and generally fairly foul. Uh, I'm very lucky that this little gal is fairly relaxed in my company right now. And she's not in the terrible teens. Is that tasty, huh? And maybe uh, at some point uh, she'll still retain this. Uh, the two fairly large Jemison's Mambas uh, are not really happy with me right now because they're under medical care. Um, oh, did you get some in your throat? Cough, cough, huh? The Jamisoni 
uh, have some sort of mouth infection and I sort of think it's secondary to uh, them actually biting their lower jaws. Uh, during the process you know of, of being caught in the wild and they've uh, bitten themselves and I think some of the protolytic qualities of their venom reduce the amount of immune response in the area or just perhaps uh, you know just cause local necrosis but they've got uh, some sore mouths at least they're feeding and I gave them a fairly large dose of antibiotics to uh, to help that along but you can imagine having to pin them uh, wash their mouth out with peroxide to disinfect the wound and then I use Jensen's Violet for the local uh, area of infection now for those of you who don't know Jensen's Violet was the mainstay of Dennis um, you know in the 50s, 60s, 70s and so on you know if you got a canker sore a little uh, a little cut in your mouth and it got infected that was the number one treatment that they would give you uh, to heal it so it's a fairly innocuous material makes the mamba's mouth purple and obviously they don't like it and I don't like it because I have to go in there uh, but it uh, definitely uh, has curative properties especially uh, funguses are, uh, are wiped out by it Well, you're just uh, being so good. Uh, almost a shame that uh, we have to put you away. I'm hoping to have space in a new facility, which I hope to be in by October, uh, that I'll have maybe a live ficus tree or something um, to let certain arboreal animals just sort of hang out. Uh, certainly the mambas can hang out there. It won't be a permanent place for them, but uh, there's no reason if they're relaxed and very calm like this little girl, there's no reason not to uh, let them hang out in the tree and sort of do a, a mamba stroll. Uh, you know, we let Gabby and some of the viperids out and stuff. Uh, no reason to uh, not let uh, this little cutie go hang out in the tree. Um, of course, the tree won't be too tall, so it'll be somewhat easy to get uh, uh, get her out once she's in it. And I think that will be the trick, getting her out. So we'll just uh, let her hopefully calmly descend back into her cage for now yeah I know ah ha 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 wishful thinking okay so now is when things get exciting see you notice I didn't really react very much to her falling like that because um, that would actually stir things up some more Okay.
see, it's generally easy to get them out. Getting them back is always the difficult part. Go on. Okay. I know I touched you. That was bad. That was very bad of me. This could be a job for a plex. All right, all right. There you go. Nice view of her, the tail. Okay, more fun with Western Green Mambas.